Well today I'm going to talk about making a traversure. Now a traversure is a bit like a curved spoke shave and it's used for hollowing out the seats, getting the seats of Windsor chairs nice and smooth. And I've got a traversure here and you'll see on one of our other videos, it's one called hollowing a Windsor chair seat, we actually use a traversure. Um, has a nice curved blade and a curved wooden sole. What I want to do is actually make a couple more which have different curvatures on the blades. So it's going to be a little bit of blacksmithing and I've got very basic blacksmithing tools, so a bit of a challenge there, and a bit of woodworking to make the body. The steel to use for this is called O1 Tool Steel and you can buy it from a lot of steel stockholders. It's very cheap. It's um, a size we need. It's three quarters of an inch wide and three sixteenths of an inch thick the actual blade material, so it's not, not very heavy to work with. And we just need a six inch section of it for the blade, so it's not very much. As I say, three quarters by three sixteenths steel, O1. The O1 is the important thing, it's basically 1% carbon. And it, it's a good one because it's fairly easy to forge at home. For the body of the Traverser, uh, you just need a, a good bit of hardwood. So this is about a foot long, it needs to be an inch and a half thick. And you can see by looking at this one, that will go quite happily. This particular wood's brown oak, which is quite quite okay for this. You could use beech, ordinary oak, anything you have available really. And um, one of the first jobs is to mark up the steel for where you cut it. I like to use layout blue, which is something you just apply, it's liquid like ink, that you apply with a rag. And it blues the steel, which then makes it very easy, you just scratch the actual measurements that you want on the steel. So all I'm doing here it's a three and a half inch centre section and then inch and a half or so a couple of inches each end for the tangs of the blade. So if you look at the finished one that's the centre section and those are the tangs. And then it's a matter of really just cutting it out and then filing or grinding off the bevel. The bevel will go on the inside and then the next stage after that will be the forging which will be to actually make the curvature. Now ideally for the forging one has an anvil. At the moment I haven't got one, I'm in the process of acquiring an anvil but um, I have got this very heavy bit of arm which I'm going to use to hammer around that. It's the right sort of curvature, the right sort of shape for what I want. So actually if that held in a vice, it would do the job quite well. Well, I've got my metal all marked up and I've just started doing the cutting out. So I'm going to cut out essentially the shape of the, the blade now and then I'll grind it and we'll be getting on the way. Right, that's the first tang cut. So one more of those to go. Okay, that's both of the tangs cut, so I'll now just file and clean this up a little bit. Okay, so that's the actual blade ready. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to grind off a 30 degree angle as my sort of primary bevel on the actual blade. So I'll do that next on a um, grinder. Okay, well I've just been giving the blade a bit more of a clean up, so the next step will be to do the actual bending. Okay, well I'm going to heat up the blade to red heat now, and I'm going to use this fairly hefty gas blow lamp thing, <laughs> connected to a gas cylinder, a big one. It's quite a, a substantial piece of kit, this actually gives quite a big flame. I actually got this originally because I made a little furnace and it was quite, quite effective for that. And then I'm going to bend the blade over this bit of scrap arm here and um, I will then harden it by quenching it in vegetable oil and once I've done that I'll then, because it would be too hard at that point, I'll then temper it by putting it through a heat process which will make it soft enough to sharpen up and keep a nice edge. And I've got a fairly large burner here, I hope you can just hear me above the flame. I'll try and heat 
evenly as I can. It's going to warm the block as well. See a little bit of a red glow, which is what I want. I don't want to overheat this, and it's quite a bright day today. Okay, I've got the basic curve in now and I'm just going to heat to bend over these tangs. Okay, checking alignment now. I want those handle blades roughly upright. Okay, so I've now got the basic shape. Next stage is the quench into the oil. Which will harden it. Next step will be to take it up to heat, but actually to temper the metal. So I'll take the edge up to a light straw color, heating from the back of the blade. But I'm gonna clean the blade first so I can actually see the colors of the tempering going through, and then I'll temper it into water. Okay, so I'm just going to take the metal now down to the silver, get this, this coloring off, so then I can see what's happening for the tempering stage. cleaning up the blade with emery paper and also with this circular sander which is quite a useful little well, circular sanding drum quite useful for getting a bit more of an edge on the blade so it's getting there I've got a bit more cleaning up to do and then I can give it a final hone and that will be the blade part done there we are, one blade ready for making the wooden body so I've got a bit of brown oak for the wooden body, so I'll trace around the shape of the blade on the brown oak and then cut that out. So I've now drawn the outline of the blade on the wood and I've drawn in a couple of travisher arms. Okay, so now I've got the blade roughly on shape for the piece of wood. Be a bit of fine tuning there, but that's pretty okay. And um, next job is to get the blade into position. Okay, I'm now just going to drill out the two holes for the actual coach bolts that will hold the blade in place. Well, I've been doing a bit more work cleaning up the Travisher body. I've given quite a large area for shaving ejection there. So I've cut quite a piece over. Got the blade quite nicely cleaned up now. And i am just been smoothing off the, the wood, been giving it first polish. Well, I've been doing a bit more adjusting to the Travisher and um, cleaned it up quite well actually. So using a few spoke shaves and a bit of planing. I've oiled the, all, all of it with some nice linseed oil, which keeps it nice. So um, all set for business really. I see and very nice curls coming off of there. So one Travisher, but certainly will hollow out a few nice Windsor chair seats. <laughs> 